2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Here in Big D, basking under the moonlight, the gorgeous Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge. Welcome to 2K Sports Annual Noche NBA presentation. We're excited to bring you this celebratory fusion of basketball and Latin culture. And on tap tonight, it's the Atlanta Hawks going up against the Dallas Mavericks here at their home, American Airlines Center. Alongside Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson, Ali LaForce on the sidelines. Let's take a look at our starters for Atlanta. At the forward slots, Hunter and Collins. In the backcourt, Young and Bogdanovich. And it's Capella in at the five. And for the Mavericks, Hardaway Jr. and Finney Smith, they're out there on the perimeter. At the four and five, it's Porzingis and Powell. And it's Doncic in at the one. And tonight, two of the more methodical go. offenses in the league, Grant. With so many teams going fast, what makes teams go slow? Well, you know, it could be a number of things. You have lumbering big men and efficient half-court offense. Also, if you have a lockdown defense, then you can sometimes use that to control pace to tighten their clamps. And up the court they come. The Mavericks on the break. And Doncic with the jam. Boy, Luka Doncic showing good awareness and quick hands to make the defensive play and then get the transition nice. Collins passes to Young. Back to Collins. Knocked away. And Porzingis with the block. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Porzingis. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. Wright checked in for the Hawks. DeLong Wright. Six to shoot. Let's it go from the wing. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. And up the court they come. The Mavericks on the break. And Powell with the stuff. Uh, the speed on the break from Powell right now. Just booking down the court and getting to the basket. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Knocked loose. And up the court they come. The Mavericks on the break. And Doncic hammers it home. Big time breakout. Leaving everyone in the dust. Oh, you love the awareness, the decisiveness. Great job there. And he says he needs to improve his game in a lot of areas. But you ask me, Luka Doncic is one of the most complete players you'll find. Man, that was fast. They're already up by double digits. Wow, they've come out strong. Control the pace, assert their will. Nice. Unfortunately for them, they're reeling at this point. So true. Very little going their way right now at either end of the floor. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. And you talk about the overall game of Doncic. He's a tremendous passer, a tremendous rebounder, and we know he can score. And that's what defines the great players. Even if his shot's off on a given night, he has other ways to impact the game. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Jang, he's checked in for Clint Capella. Okongwu comes in for Collins. Gallinari, he's checked in for Hunter. And it's Young in for Wright. And a slam dunk by Porzingis. They've been very effective so far. A balanced attack at its best. From the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want. And defensively, they are connected and on a string. Oh, it's stolen by Doncic. Here's Finney Smith. Rips down the breakaway slam. The offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. They have used their size and their strength to get off any shot they want. They've dominated on the interior. I got ball. Knocks it loose. Pass to Gallinari. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Mavericks. Atlanta making some changes here. Reddish has checked in for Gallinari. And Herter subbed in for Bogdanovich. The Mavericks have gone a perfect 7-for-7. Seven seven. And it's Doncic on the drive. And Doncic hammers it home. 
And early on, they've been on a tear. Just getting whatever they want offensively. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. They need this. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Here's Finney Smith. Here's Powell. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for the Mavericks. Well, in their first half of play, they're closing out aggressively. The block shots, a key indicator of their activity defensively. And you know, the other thing they've done really well tonight is stay active defensively. Lots of steals, and that's making a huge difference. Hunters checked in for the Hawks. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with matchups? Here's a Kongwu. Pass to Jang. Hunter with the ball. He's marked by Finney Smith. Oh, it's stolen by Doncic. And there's the drive. And Doncic hammers it home. And they're really rolling right now. That lead keeps getting bigger and bigger. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on... Oh, oh wow. hey! How about that? How about that burst of speed? Tim Hardaway Jr. Whoa! And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. Ooh, poked away. Deflected. 151 left to play in the first quarter. Going inside. Oh! Oh! Well, there's big-time athleticism when you're talking about Hardaway. Puts it on the deck and relentless move to the cup. 141 left now in the first quarter. Here's Reddish. Oh, that one's off. Still out of sync. Pass to Porzingis. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. That's ten straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. And it's Porzingis penetrating. Wow, that's the mobility of Porzingis gliding in for the finish. Here's Herder. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Pass to Okongwu. To the middle. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Outside Finney Smith. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. He swipes the ball away again. His anticipation has been off the charts. <laughs> off the charts in DBA. I mean, he's just taking the ball away with ease. As of this moment, they look absolutely unstoppable. Boy, it looks like their confidence is at an all-time high, just feeding off each other right now. Good on the shot. Finney Smith's got six. Even with the score as it is, he just keeps coming at you. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Hunter. One of those nights where the wheels come off, nerves seem to be playing a factor. And here's Doncic out. He was going to get it off in time. Oh, wow. Great awareness in crucial situations. Nicely done. Oh, what a performance by Luka Doncic. He has been the story for the Mavericks. His fingerprints were all over that quarter. 13 points leading the charge. And don't go far. We'll be right back. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And quite a position here for the Mavericks to be in. What do you think, guys? With their offense clicking on all cylinders, they own that first quarter. That's exactly the start you want. You take complete command. Now you've got to maintain that focus. All right, this is how the floor looks for the Hawks starting the second. Bogdan Bogdanovich is out there with DeLon Wright. 
Then it's Clint Capella. Then there's Johnson. And it's Hill in at the four. Doncic. And Doncic with the jam. Listen, this is becoming routine for Luka Doncic. This guy's a big-time scorer who can take over when he's ready. Here's Atlanta with the ball. Oh, they get a hand on it. Oh, it's stolen by Doncic. Here's Brunson. Flushes it down to finish the break. They're really in control of both ends of the floor right now. Forcing turnovers and finding easy points while the other guys struggle to keep up. And for some reason, he decided to foul there. TNBA, that's an odd move. Maybe there's something else behind it. And the Mavericks making a change here. Bullock's checked in. Gallinari, he's checked in for the Hawks. Young comes in for right. Capella finds Johnson. Young against Brunson. The ball's knocked loose. Down to five on the shot clock. And stolen by Brunson. Again, the Mavericks good for two more. Their success from mid-range has really set them apart today. Young, the pass to Capella. And stolen by Brunson. Driving to the basket. Oh, a rim-rattling two-handed jam. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. Young, the pass to Bogdanovich. Can they get it? And the layup is good. Bogdanovich has gotten his first bucket of the night. And this is how unselfish Young is. When he sees an open teammate, he gets them the rock. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. The Hawks went on a tear last season after naming Nate McMillan their interim head coach. After he won Eastern Conference Coach of the Month and helped guide them to the franchise's first playoff run in four seasons, it seemed inevitable that he'd become the head coach long term. Guys? Nothing new for him, Allie. Good stuff there. And a big issue for them, turnovers. Yeah, you just can't give away possessions in this league. Here's Kleba. And finished off by Kleba. And that was a case of great anticipation skills on defense, sparking the transition game. And that's exactly how you get yourself into transition. The gamble pays off. Here's Bogdanovich. Yep, that one goes. Well, you love the activity out there. What a play. This guy is busy on the offensive end. Young against Brunson. Shoots over Capella. Again, Dallas. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Got a piece of it. Now here's Young. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Brown with the block. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Hawks will retain possession. Atlanta making some changes here. John Collins comes in for Capella, and Wright subbed in for Trey Young. Clock at six. Brown with the block. Pushing it up the floor of the Mavericks. Again in transition. Here's Bullock, covered by Johnson. Count it. As of this moment, they look absolutely unstoppable. Boy, it looks like their confidence is at an all-time high, just feeding off each other right now. Brunson with it. Now right defending. And the whistle blows. Bogdan, it's going to be on Bogdan Bogdanovich. That's his first foul of the game. First Tough team. break for the defense. I mean, he Coming took the hit, the the but he didn't get the call. And the Mavericks with some changes. Kristaps Porzingis comes in for Brown. And Finney Smith subbed in for Hardaway. Hook loose. And stolen by Brunson. Throw it down on the breakaway jam. Hey, I'd keep feeding him every trip. He's been on fire this quarter. The Hawks have gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Right outside. Tipped away. Yet another steal from him. Oh, he's able to anticipate their every move. An absolute pest on the defensive end. Their system is running smoothly, and the gap on the scoreboard is widening. 
do like that the offense is humming along. They're putting in the effort to distance themselves. Outside, Hill. And 101 left in the first half. Five on the clock. The Hawks need to get one up here. Here's right. Offensive rebound. Yeah, they just can't seem to end the drought no matter where they shoot it from. And I think you can start to feel their frustration mounting. With every missed bucket, it becomes more and more desperate. And just good hustle. Always nice to get an easy bucket on the break. We call that one the do-it-yourself kit. Right against Brunson. To stop the drought. And Porzingis with the block. Porzingis so fast off the floor when he challenges a shot. Helps him get a lot of blocks like that one. <laughs> Their fast break defense just isn't cutting it. The Hawks shooting only 23% so far. To the left side wing. Back to right. The floater, and he sinks the layup. Just a smart shot by DeLon Wright. Get to your floater game. Get it before the defense can react. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks showing no mercy and just piling it on, looking dominant and focused right now. Their defense has forced a number of key turnovers, giving them a clear advantage on possessions. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. From the get-go, it was Dallas who came out strong. They ended up scoring 14 unanswered points, really doing damage early. The effort, the intensity, impressive. At the end of the first quarter, they found themselves way out on top. Then in quarter number two, it was all hands on deck, and what a show it was. Quality execution, good efficiency, some tremendous defensive play. Helped them take a decisive advantage, and they're running away with this one. And from what we saw so far from the Mavericks, Kenny, what's your takeaway? What a true demonstration of dominance. They made a commitment to owning the glass, and they made good on it. Blocking out, competing hard in traffic, that's the way you should play on both ends of the court. And Shaq, what'd you see from Atlanta? First of all, where's the intensity on D? You think when a team is punking you like this, you at least try to put a stop to it. But nope, you just keep giving up open looks, letting the league get bigger and bigger and bigger. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. My brother... And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. You look at Jalen Brunson. What a contribution. Yeah, he's played with great energy in the first half. Very disruptive at the defensive end. Well, it was about effort and anticipation. Hard to get into an offensive rhythm when you know this guy is lurking. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Luca and Hardaway, they make up the backcourt. Finney Smith at small forward with Porzingis at the four. And it's Powell in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. You've got to applaud Trey Young's hustle out there on the floor. I mean, he plays a lot of minutes, but he maintains a high energy level all game long. Just rising up to the rim. Man, when he gets up there, he gets up there. You know what I'm saying? Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages them to keep attacking on the offensive end. And Doncic with the jam. Well, the exceptional handle. Doncic has every move, can go in any direction. Look out, folks. One place you really see Trey Young's work ethic shine through is on the offensive end of the floor with his assist numbers. Yeah, Young does everything he can to create for his guys. He's a selfless player who wants everyone to get involved. And he's got a real talent for problem-solving defenses and finding ways to get his guys good looks. 
And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Young, the pass to Capella. And the layup is good off the glass. Capella's gotten four this quarter. Inside, Capella's physical ability makes the difference. He can get vertical, bump with you, whatever it takes. Hardaway's shot is good. Soft defense. I mean, they've given up 10 of the last 12 points inside. That's tipped and stolen by Hardaway. And up the court they come. The Mavericks on the break. And Johnson hammers it home. And they're refusing to take a break, even with a nice lead. They just continue to attack. You have to love it. And that, to me, is a sign of excellent coaching. There's an attention to detail. There is valuing of every possession. Pass to Capella. Hunter on the wing. Just five on the clock. Collins passes to Hunter. Second chance shot. And the layup is up and in. Boy, everyone is getting to their spots and then capitalizing. Three for four in the quarter. Beautiful. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. Hardaway's got 12. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. Outside Young. To the paint. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. Here we go. All alone. And Doncic hammers it home. Everything is dropping for them. Just a terrific third period run. And I think it's been all about their offensive efficiency, shooting the lights out in this quarter. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. And it's the Mavericks with the ball. Hey, set KP. Kick ball KP. Porzingis in the post. Collins defending. How? Oh, it's good. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. For Atlanta, they've gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. And Young draws the double. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Doncic. Hawks ball. A different look for Dallas. Brown, he's checked in for Powell. And it's Brown in for Doncic. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Hook loose. Shot clock at six. Brown with the steal. And up the court they come. The Mavericks on the break. And the jam by Brown. Their offense is looking like a well-oiled machine, getting any look they want. Well, what great game planning, what great execution. It doesn't get much better than this. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for Dallas? Their activity at the defensive end has been impressive, attacking and coming away with steals. Yeah, and something else that served them well are all the turnovers they've caused and the points that have come along with those. Here's Brown. And Brown with the stuff! Well, you want some unselfishness from a guy who's capable of scoring, and Tim Hardaway says, you know what, my teammate's open, I'm going to get him the ball. Pass to Okongwu. Gallinari with it. Now guarded by Brown. Brown with the steal. And now the Mavs on the run. And the jam by Brown. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Who poked away. In transition, here they come. And a slam dunk by Porzingis. You know, at 7-3, yes, he can dunk. But with that athleticism and his sense for the dramatic and his flair, look out, folks. He can be special. There's 38 seconds left in the third. Here's right. Pass to Gallinari. The Mavericks, another fast break opportunity here. And Brown with the stuff. 
It's like he's doing pull-ups on the rim. Looked like a schoolyard playground right there. There's 21 seconds left in the third quarter. Right against Brown. Here's Reddish. Back to right. And it's going to be out of, out of bounds. The Hawks will retain possession. Now into the lineup for the Hawks. Here's Reddish. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks way out of reach with an enormous lead as we head into a break. It hasn't taken them too many shots to get their points. They're winning with efficiency. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fellow with the sweetest pass of the day. Well, we have some elite passing big men in the NBA, and you love that skill. Wow. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. And Atlanta, looking at who they've got. We've got Kevin Herter. Onyeka Kongwu is out there with Gorgie Jang. Then there's Cam Reddish. And it's Hill in at the three, the small forward. Got a piece of it. Pass to Reddish. Over to the left wing. Here's Bullock. And he banks in the layup. And talk about imposing your will. That's 10 straight points in the paint. And for Atlanta, they're shooting around 33%. Not the best offensive efficiency. A Kongu, high post. Pass to Reddish. Back to Okongwu. Just five to shoot. Now Herder. From the arc. And the three-pointer goes. Herder's gotten himself going here. His first point of the game on the deep ball. Outside Brunson. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. It's good. Brunson's got 23. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. Outside Herder. Pass to Jang. Oh, Collie Stein with the block. Here's Porzingis. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. How about the handles by Kristaps Porzingis? You know, another international prospect coming in with a developed skill set. Here's Reddish. Fourth quarter of play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. They double him with Brown. Pass to Okongwu. Herder with it. Five to shoot. Goes up on the baseline. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. Well, this guy plays with such confidence and ability to score in a variety of ways. Nice. And that one's good for Brunson. Brunson's got six in the quarter. <laughs> you know, they're really being bullied right now defensively. Eight of the last ten points have come from the inside. Pass to Herder. Let's a floater go. Kevin and Herder. it's good on the lay-in. After a brutal first half from the field, their shots are finally starting to fall. Here's Brunson, and he makes it on the layup. Brunson's got 27 points. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. 
And since the halftime break, their offense has just been on another level. I got to believe that's something the coach talked to them about at the halftime. They have valued each possession. The Hawks have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Pass to Herter. Here's Reddish. Back to Herter. Two minutes remaining in the game. Here's Two Hill. Minutes. And he gets it to go off the front iron. The Mavericks have gotten all seven of their shots to go. Impressive here in the fourth. And a slam dunk by Porzingis. Oh, guys, you have got to love those long strides. AP able to cover some ground on his way to the rim. For Atlanta, they've gotten four or five attempts to fall so far in the fourth. Here's Cauley Stein. And the jam by Cauley Stein. The best way to get a clean look is with those quick hitters on the break. What a beautiful fast break opportunity and the finish pretty good. To the inside. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Mavericks. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. What you love is how complete a player Kristaps Porzingis is. There is a variety of ways with which he can score it. We've got 108 left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Reddish. And they're on the run by himself. And he hammers it home to polish off the break. You got to give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. He pushed a little too hard there trying to close the gap. And yes, he paid the price. That's a big miscue. And you hate to see that happen at this point in the game. Marjanovic checked in for the Mavericks. Burke comes in for Bullock. And Cauley Stein, here we go. And the jam by Cauley Stein. With very little left on the clock, they've got a comfortable lead, and the fans are loving it. Well, they're getting ready to celebrate, no doubt. They know it's theirs to lose at this point. Having another steal. Oh, he's able to anticipate their every move. An absolute pest on the defensive end. Come on now, guys. That's flat out insane. Hey, when's the last time you saw a jam like that? And it's flushed down. A nice jam. Action on the break has fueled them tonight. They're winning the transition battle. Well, this is their pace. This is exactly how they want to play. A little fast, a little loose. Here's Marjanovic. Nice basic one-hander there. Hey, I think he got some extra bounce off the ground on that one. Oh. 11 feet out, and it's Dallas scoring again. And so Dallas takes this one by a big margin, showing that they're the far superior team. They win it going away. I'll tell you what, give it up for their fans. They love to watch this team dominate. You best believe they're all going home happy tonight. And that'll do it, folks. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.